are you moving to Edmonton or to the Edmonton area? Well, lucky for you, because in this video, I'm gonna tell you about the different options within the greater Edmonton area. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Jen McPhillamy, Real Estate Associate Realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that so you don't miss out on great content like this. Okay, so you've decided to make the move to Edmonton, but where are you gonna live? It's a big area. It includes the city of Edmonton, Strathcona County, Sturgeon County, Parkland County, and Leduc County. Okay, so first I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the core of it all, which is the city of Edmonton. This beautiful city of Edmonton once was known as the city of champions. I still think we are. So generally, you want to stay in the city of Edmonton if you need to be in close proximity to secondary institutes like University of Alberta, Grand McEwen University, or Nate, amongst others. Or if you heavily rely on public transit. Edmonton is great for that and has a variety of ways for people to get around the city without a vehicle. If Edmonton sounds right to you, if you're to buy a home here, as of July 2019, the average home price in Edmonton is $418,856. Well, maybe you want to explore further options. So let's head north of the city to Sturgeon County. The two major cities and towns located in this county are the city of St. Albert and the town of Mournville. So Mournville is just a little bit farther from the city. It's north of St. Albert, but only about a 20 minute drive. So not that bad. It's super great option if you want to be close to city amenities. The city of St. Albert is actually so close to Edmonton. Most people don't even realize when they've left Edmonton and are in St. Albert. St. Albert is known to be a little more expensive to live, but it's also one of the more desirable communities. And if you're working in the city of Edmonton and living in St. Albert, but you don't want to drive, St. Albert Transit also has a commuter bus that comes right into Edmonton. Your transit pass for St. Albert is good on Edmonton Transit. So if you're going to buy a home in St. Albert, as of July 2019, the average home price was $456,967. So moving east of Edmonton and a little bit to the north is where you're going to find Strathcona County. This is where the city of Fort Saskatchewan is located and the hamlet of Shura Park. Did I just call Fort Saskatchewan a city and Shura Park a hamlet? Yes I did and that was no mistake. Even though Shura Park is much larger than Fort Saskatchewan and even cities like Leduc, it's still considered a hamlet. There's a very strategic reason for this, and if you want to know more, just reach out to me. So, Fort Saskatchewan, the fort, as locals would call it, or Fort Sask. It's about a 17-minute drive to Shura Park and a 33-minute drive to Edmonton City Center. I have to say, I love Fort Saskatchewan. Also, they have this super large, big, fenced-in dog park. And if you know me, it's kind of important to have a good dog park where you live. Now, if you work in the oil and gas industry and your work is just north of Fort Saskatchewan, this would be a great place to live. So, if you're interested in Fort Saskatchewan and you want to buy a home there, the average home price as of July 2019 was $381,236. So if we head a little bit south of Fort Saskatchewan in Strathcona County, you will find Sherwood Park. Sherwood Park is nicknamed the park and is directly east of Edmonton. What's great about Sherwood Park, it has a really short commute to Edmonton city center. It's about 21 minutes. 21 minutes is a great travel time. If you're traveling from Windermere in the far southwest of Edmonton, it could be like 35 to 40 minutes from my experience. The park also has a great public transit system and a commuter bus that comes to Edmonton with that pass that works on Edmonton transit system as well. So if you're interested in the park, Sherb Park, the July 2019 average home price is $460,860, which is the highest in the greater Edmonton area. So let's head south. South of Edmonton, you will find two major centers, the city of Leduc and the town of Beaumont. Beaumont and Leduc are in Leduc County. Beaumont is about a 30 minute drive to Edmonton city center. There's a very strong French presence in this community, as it was originally a French farming community. 
Beaumont is so cute, such a beautiful town, with their downtown looking much like a little French village. From Beaumont, it's pretty easy to get anywhere as you're right beside the Anthony Hende, which is Edmonton's ring road. So wanna buy a home in Beaumont? Well, the average home price as of July 2019 was $394,634. So Leduc is directly south of Edmonton. Leduc is divided by QE2, which is the highway most people use to get to Calgary, if you wanted to go there, but why? Just kidding, I love Calgary too. So Leduc is about a 32 minute commute to Edmonton city center. Leduc also has public transit. It's a little bit more limited, but it'll take people to the Edmonton International Airport and to the farthest south LRT stop in Edmonton, Century Park. So if you're gonna buy a home in Leduc, the average home price from July 2019 is $362,022. Last but definitely not least is Parkland County. Parkland County is located directly west of the city. This is where you'll find the town of Stony Plain and the city of Spruce Grove. Stony Plain is just a little bit farther west. It's about a 38 minute drive to Edmonton City Center and a nine minute drive to Spruce Grove. Because it's so close to the Trans-Canada Highway, you can bypass Spruce Grove to get to Edmonton. Interested in Stony Plain? If you're gonna buy a home there as of July, 2019, the average home price was $352,112. Okay, the final town, or city, I guess. The city of Spruce Grove. Located just off the Trans-Canada Highway, west of the city. It's a great location for people that are working in Atchison or Edmonton, or actually in the town of Spruce Grove. It's about a 35 minute commute to Edmonton city center. And there's great news for the city. As of September, 2019, they're kicking off their public transit program. This will include transit throughout the city, as well as a commuter to Edmonton. If you're going to buy a home in Spruce Grove, as of July 2019, the average home price is $391,671. I hope you found this information to be helpful in your decision making and that you have a better understanding of the greater Edmonton area. Take care and thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.